Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are one game away from the end of this torrid season. And somehow we have a chance of getting into the top five. Sheffield United, we need you. We are all blades on Sunday, man. Sure, and boys, we are here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's hope they got something for us. It, it feels like a whole load of copium that I'm inhaling. A whole load of hopium that I'm inhaling. But crazy things have happened. Shout out Chiellini, the history of the Tottenham and all of that. These men have literally done it before. Lost 5-1 to a already relegated Newcastle for literally no reason. So why should I not believe they could do it again? Crazy things have happened this season. We were literally like, what, 11th in, in April, 10th or something crazy like that. But we have managed to pull form at the right time and the teams around us have managed to drop form at the right time. And we've capitalized. Thank the Lord. And another three points have been secured today away at Brighton. Really, really good game from us. Even though Brighton did worry us in some periods. Started the game, they did well. There was good moments of link-up play throughout the match from them. And especially in the second half, they had a lot of clear-cut chances. It's just we managed to take the chances that we had. We defended really well. Right? I think the defensive structure was actually pretty decent in this game. That was a big improvement from the last match. The only thing is, like, Jackson, very wasteful. Very, very wasteful. Like, I talk about Brighton missing chances. Jackson could have had about three by himself. There was a clear-cut one from about six yards out in the first half. Fumbled that. There was a BS offside slash foul called, which, we, to be honest, he was offside for, but they called it as a foul. And I'm like, what? But that was just one in the string of errors that VAR made throughout the game. Lamptey should have been off, but VAR didn't want to work for him. But they want to act up when Reese James starts kicking out a player, which Reese James deserved to be off for as well, by the way. But I, I need the same energy. And Chelsea just never seem to get the same energy when it comes to VAR. Jackson gets a BS call for a foul for no reason. Cucurella goes down for a penalty, which, to be fair, isn't a penalty. It's a foul. But uh, the Brian defender kicks it out. It goes out out for a corner and they restart with a goal kick figure that one out var is an absolute mess and this is why wolves are talking about var and they're trying and they're trying to push for var to be out of the premier league next season and that won't happen but this push should try and force more change within var and that's what we need to see more of because stuff like this today the, I see the majority of people are only talking about the referee. And they're only talking about VAR. Because it was an absolute joke. And this is the problem. The problem isn't VAR. The problem is the referees. The refereeing in this country is so incompetent, it is ridiculous. Thankfully, it just didn't cost us anything. Thankfully, bullet header from Cole Palmer for the first goal. Jackson really could have bagged the second, but... Gusto links up well with um, Nkunku for the second goal. We finally got the balloon celebration. Let's go. Let's go. And yeah, to be honest, that was Gusto's best moment because he was a little bit sloppy in that game too. Had a bit of ring rust. But shout out Caicedo. Shout out Cucurella. Handled that game really well with the Bryan fans on their neck from minute one. They both produced really good performances. I've been telling people that Caicedo is our best midfielder. And this game, just yet another example of it. Excellent defensively, excellent in his build-up play. What more can you ask? For the price tag. For the price tag. He hasn't really performed to expectations. For the price tag. Shut up. It's absolutely embarrassing, man. Shout out, Kaiseido, man. Silencing the doubters every week. Now, I know with that in mind, everyone's going to say, but what was your thoughts on Potch? Are you still Potch out? Are you still Potch out? I've already told you all. Don't ask me until next season. He has to make it to next season. I am not flip-flopping. Even though Potch did well today, I'm going to give him credit because he set the team up well. I think the substitutions were correct. Second game in a row. Let's go. There's still been a lot 
a lot of damage done this season. We are eight points off fourth. We could already be in fourth. We could already be back in the UCL and then nobody would be complaining. Literally nobody. So we will see. If they keep him next season, I'll be annoyed for a game for a day. And then I'll probably just get over it and be like, all right, cool. No one talked to me about time. No one talked to me about patience. No one talked to me about all that BS. You hit the ground running. You hit the ground running. You show me brilliant football from match day one. And if he does that, that'll be me. That'll be me. And that'll be when I'll finally start to like maybe, maybe see if I can start to believe in him a little bit more. As for now, I've been catfish for too long. Catfish for too long. But credit to Poch because he did well today. Credit to him. So that's for all the people who think we're agenda merchants. But yeah, three more points up for grabs. We have a chance to get into fifth. We'll see what happens. But yeah, big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. We are still potch out. And as always, up the chels. Up the chels.